You guys, check out this cool new lighter a viewer sent me for Christmas. Isn't that cool? I love a little sizzling sound. Yeah, it charges by via USB. Pretty spelt. I snagged a Tuscany Fraser fur. That's a good winter scent. A viewer also sent me a new coffee to try. Lola, looks like a Savannah. It's from Savannah. Looks good. Mmm, that is good. You guys were asking what I use to wash my silk pillowcases and eye masks. I've been using this Molly Suds Delicate Wash. They don't have a fragrance-free one. I've just been getting a lavender, but whatever. Um, so I just do, I actually do put them in my washing machine. I don't think you're technically supposed to, but I put them on the gentle cycle and I put them in little lingerie bags and I just, put them on the gentle cycle cold and then I hang them up to dry. I don't, I don't put them in the dryer. Well, hey guys, I'm on my way to Sprouts actually because I need to grab a few things that are available there at a heck of a price. I'm telling you, Sprouts has some of the best deals on things that I buy. Between that and iHerb, I get a lot of specialty items. We just passed a water treatment facility and it smells odd when you drive by it, like most people are like well what a horrible smell but i'm weird i i actually kind of enjoy the smell it reminds me of pouring sds page gels in my days in the lab um the beta mercaptic ethanol that you add and so every time i drive by that water treatment facility i get that whiff and it just takes me back to my lab days you almost become you know, it's a horrible, it's a foul smell that most normal people would, you know, be put off by. But when you're around it all the time, you become desensitized to it. And then it's almost a nostalgia thing when you've been without that smell for a while and you get a whiff again. But one horrible smell I cannot stomach, and I don't think anyone can. I mean, if you can, how, is burning garbage. And I used to work in this hospital during train during my residency out in the Bronx and they we would go down in the basement because that's where the lab was and we would go down there to look at the histology of all the biopsies that we took and we had to go back past this down this hallway and they there was like a trash incinerator oh I don't know if it was just trash or like bodily fluids or what but I mean I have never smelled something so foul in all of my days oh here we go i think i've complained about this accordion thing and i'm pointing it out to you guys because you have to go over it really slow it's like a flood gate anyways what i was saying is i have never smelled anything that foul in my lifetime and we used to have to go past that on a weekly basis Ugh. All right, we're here at Sprouts. Wow, this is new, original Sprout. It is a hair care collection. I don't know if this is a Sprouts exclusive. Hypoallergenic hair gel. Now, hypoallergenic is a marketing term. There's there's really just no such thing as as like hypoallergenic because really any ingredient can become a an can be an allergen. However, I, it typically implies that the product is free of like common allergens. Interesting. Coconut oil, you know, that can, uh, that could possibly cause what's called pomade acne. Basically, little acne breakouts along the hairline due to kind of pomades and hair styling products. And since some people are, since some people do find that coconut oil breaks them out, I would worry about that. But see, this isn't like even hypoallergenic because it has vanilla fruit extract, which is vanilla, and that's fragrance. And that can be an allergen. But they also have a deep conditioner and a shampoo. I've never seen this in here before. Melora Manuka Honey and Oil Double Action Body Lotion. 
Honey is antimicrobial and it does have, uh, it's, you know, rich in humectants. So it has healing properties. Well, let's see, the first bowl ingredient is water, aloe leaf juice. I'm not seeing, oh, uh, Manuka honey. You know, you could try and deduce efficacy from ingredient lists, but I suggest not bothering doing that because you may be like, well, Manuka honey is like low on the ingredient list. But if it were high on the ingredient list, good luck like spreading that all over your skin. So I do think you have to be careful and not overinterpret ingredient order. Plus higher doesn't necessarily ever mean better. Ooh, this is good. The Derma E fragrance free hand cream. I'm rather enjoying that. Seaweed Bath Company has a sleep restoring body cream. Well, that is a lofty promise. Lavender does have a soporific effect. Of course, it is fragrance, so if you are allergic, you have to avoid it. I tried one of these products. I actually have a fragrance free one that I tried and was very impressed with. Does it have seaweed in it? If I remember correctly, it does. Yeah, bladder whack. Seaweed is a good source of humectants. It looks like Sprouts has their own body butter. Move over, Josie Moran. Vegan, cruelty-free. Paraben-free is nothing to get jazzed about unless you are allergic to parabens. This has an essential oil blend in it, so if you're allergic to fragrance and you'd want to avoid that. But otherwise, it looks like it's probably good. Shea, jojoba, safflower seed oil, marula seed oil. Oh, of course, coconut oil, you know, the caveat that some people find that breaks in the mouth. And this Now Solution Shea Butter is pretty good. Um, I've never used the cocoa butter. Harry Potter fans, looks like... Um, there's a butterscotch non-alcoholic beer, 99 cents. And a biggie root beer too, I like the packaging. All right, so I just filmed my favorites video for you guys and I got this sweater that I wore in the video. I got it from Amazon. It's actually fairly flattering. I would not say it's the most warm thing. So if you live somewhere where, actually, I don't know. If you live somewhere that's really cold, this may not be enough for you, but it's actually pretty decent as far as the weight. So I think if you wore like a long sleeve thermal on underneath it, you might find that it was nice and warm. I've just got it with some leggings, but yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable. But a viewer sent me these gorgeous earrings. Yeah, aren't they gorgeous? I think they're from Canada. The maker or brand is called this ilk, I just think they're gorgeous. And they go with this sweater, so I was like, why not make it matchy-matchy? All right, I'm gonna get started with my cranberry sauce. I just have two pounds of washed cranberries here. I'm gonna put on medium heat, and to that, I'm gonna add the juice of one orange. And leftover from this morning water. Maybe about two tablespoons of water just to keep it from sticking. And once that starts cooking down, I'm gonna add monk fruit sweetener. And I'm also gonna add some golden raisins, which oddly enough, comment below. If you eat these, they don't taste like anything. <laughs> I've, I've just found they're incredibly bland. In comparison to regular raisins, I just find these very bland, but they work well on bake, baked goods. So I'm gonna add those once it starts cooking down a little bit. This pot came in a FabFitFun box. I always get questions where I got it from. It's beautiful, I, I love it, but I don't actually know who makes it. All right, the cranberries are starting to cook down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the golden raisins.
I'm gonna let that cook covered for oh, five minutes. All right, so it's been cooking down for about five or six minutes. <clears throat> and you can just let it simmer like this and thicken up if that's, that's what most people do. But I actually like to add auger powder because this will turn it into basically a gel, jelly consistency. And I like to make sort of like a cranberry gelatin. So I add a full teaspoon, quarter, half, three quarters, and a full teaspoon. So I add it, I mix it in, and then you wanna cook it for about five minutes more. And you want it to be kind of the simmery, bubbly temperature so the auger can mix in and cook appropriately. All right, so the five minutes have elapsed. I purchased these containers on the Amazonian and I've really been happy with them. Or One thing I love about this container, this pot that came from the FabFitFun box is I don't need to use pot holders to pick it up. The handles do not carry the heat, which is pretty impressive. you guys I got some new ornaments from a viewer this viewer sends me a produce ornament every year and I got a little kiwi it's the same viewer who last year sent me this adorable little squash and in past years sent me the cauliflower and this year also sent me this sweet little Brussels sprout isn't it cute I just love it one day I may have a tree that is all these produce ornaments. I think the same viewer, or no, this year another viewer sent me this lemon slice and it's all the same brand. Here's a box actually. Uh, yeah, these ornaments come from this old world Christmas. They're really nice. Another viewer sent me this nice ornament. I think they made it. It says sunscreen and subscribe. And then, yeah, it looks like they painted the back. I thought that was really nice. Look at all of the cards I got from you guys this year, a ton. I love the red truck. This one is fun too, it's textured. And then these, um, I think, were made. There's this one, it's really pretty with the poinsettia. Inside there's a little Merry Christmas. And I was impressed by this one as well because it's got these candies on the outside. They're plastic, I think. And then on the inside it says, Sweet Holiday Wishes. Yeah, lots of nice cards. That one's really cute. <laughs> I love getting cards from you all. I thought this one was really sweet. The viewer who sent me the um, sunscreen sent me this. Isn't that pretty? Merry Christmas. I love that too. Sad that Christmas is ending. All right, so it's a couple hours later and my cranberry sauce is completely cooled and so I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, but I wanted to show you guys, see how it's like pretty much solid? More solid than anything. And as it sets up in the fridge, it'll get firmer. But yeah, that's how hey I like guys, it. I'm out of the shower, getting ready to put my hair up. 
feeling good. I swapped this t-shirt over to sleepwear. Um, I don't know. I find it's like really comfortable and I like sleeping in it. So it's become a sleepy shirt and I've got it paired with, I don't know if you can see, let me tilt you down. I paired it with these Coliseum shorts that I got a long time ago. I call them the Lisa Frank pattern. Who doesn't love Lisa Frank? Oh, I have you guys propped up on the YesStyle K-Beauty advent calendar. Speaking of that advent calendar, I have been using the Sika Luronic cleansing balm that I got in it by Maison. I actually rather enjoy this. I wish it were not scented or as heavily, strongly scented as it is. I don't care really for the fragrance, but whatever. I've been using it. It works quite well. Speaking of cleansing, another product I've really been enjoying this past month, it'll probably it'll probably make an appearance in my monthly favorites video, spoiler alert, is that CeraVe SA cleansing bar. I have been using that, lathering it to like my chest and my back in the shower, leaving it on there for a few minutes and then rinsing it off. It has salicylic acid in it, which can help control breakouts, which I don't really get but i do get you know like some irritation here when i you know from working out wearing sports bras and whatnot and sweaty clothes i obviously try and change out of that right away but you get what i'm saying so i've been using it it's not drying it's great to use on the face i've really been liking it a lot so that is another cleansing product i have been using bar a bar soap I get questions though about using bar soap on the face. You certainly can, but I do suggest choosing, it's called a Cindent bar or you know a beauty bar. They have moisturizing ingredients in them and they also are formulated with you know kind of mild, very mild surfactants. They're a better pH for the skin as opposed to like ivory soap or um, you know, like those old school bar soaps can be very harsh on the skin. I know a lot of people tell me that their male significant others like to use those old school bar soaps for bathing and they cannot get them to stop using them. Um, if it's not bothering their skin, again, you know, no, there, there's no wrong answer, but honestly, if they're having a lot of irritation, I would say switch over to something like the CeraVe bar soaps. They are amazing and you can use them on the face. But speaking of those harsher bar soaps, they are definitely pro likely to lead to problems for you if you are like me and live somewhere with hard water oh my gosh i feel as though my water is getting harder or maybe i'm just more you know paying attention to it because i'm thinking about it um if you live somewhere with hard water those traditional bar soaps they have the types of surfactants that can interact you know the the minerals in the hard water they interact with the surfactants and that's what leads to that film on the skin that it's first of all it's not really doing as good of job of cleansing and that film worsens transepidermal water loss that can lead to dryness irritation flares of acne and it can cause a lot of scalp itch i mean you're not using those bar soaps in your scalp one would assume um but hard water can worsen scalp itch is what i'm getting at so yeah it definitely can cause more skin problems in those situations if you've got hard water for sure Anyways, you guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. I hope you're having a wonderful day, night, whenever you're watching this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.